Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clips. Guys, we have a very special unboxing here today. We're going to be opening some Masters of Time, Ian. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. You know what time it is. Masters of Time. Masters of Time. Of time. time. <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah. Ian, what are you most excited for in Masters oh, of Time? I mean, it will come as a surprise to nobody, but the fact that so much of the booster is dedicated to Batman, specifically the return of Bruce Wayne's story, a very fun one, even the front of it as well. Uh, we've already seen this guy here. We have. Yep. The nasty flurry yep. piece. Uh, and then the common as well, the pointing yeah. Batman, who is kind of like the charge standard Batman. So I'm really excited yep. to see what we're going to get from the pirate, uh, like the what appears to be like the cowboy one, yeah. and then Omega Batman as well. So Ooh. probably some pretty Ooh. nasty stuff here. So easily the thing I'm most excited for. Right on. Obviously love some Green Lantern stuff too. Yeah. So. How about you? I'm, of course, I love the Jurassic League stuff, so I'm a big fan. I really hope we get a really cool dinosaur. Fingers crossed. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> dino please. time. Dino time. Dino time. Uh, so I love the Jurassic League. It's one of my favorite storylines they've done recently. It's just a wild, fun time. It's just dinosaurs yeah. beating up on dinosaurs. Uh, any of the World War II stuff, you know, I really like the easy company things. Um, if oh, we sure. could get some JSA, if we could get some Freedom Fighters, I'm a big Freedom Fighters guy. I don't know how much World War II we're going to be pulling from, but... I'm excited for what we've seen so far. So yeah, before totally. we crack into this, guys, I want you to know we're doing a giveaway. We're uh -oh. going to be giving away the chase we pull from this brick okay. to one of our subscribers. So to enter the giveaway, all you have to do, be subscribed to Dial H for Hero Clicks, like this video, and comment on this video. And you can comment on all the videos this week for an additional entry. Comment as many times as you want. We're only going to count one, count one comment per video uh, as your entry, guys. So... Up That's to it. three entries. Up then. to three entries, yeah. So yeah. it's pretty and good for the odds. Chase from and for the chase of an unreleased yeah. set. We saw what? The, uh, the Bat Prince. We did see Bat Prince. From Scott so Porter, the so. chases are from the Dark Knights of Steel yeah. storyline, where very it's this cool. very fairy tale medieval storyline, which is. I've read it. It's literally twist on twist on twist on twist. You're literally flipping through the book. Oh, what a twist! And it's literally just constantly. <laughs> no one is who they say they are in this no. storyline, like at all. It's kind of funny. We kind of saw that bat prince. So, uh, before we get started, let's crack in a legacy card. Get to here. it, man. Ooh. I know. I personally want a legacy card for Uncle Sam so badly, oh, but we'll see. Oh, that'd be so cool, man. What do we got? We have Cosmic Boy. A little Legion of Superheroes action. This is the... It's a lot of text. Too. This is a lot of text. Wow. <laughs> this is the Superman and the Legion of Superheroes 001 set. Legion of Superheroes was a really fun set for like the Legion of Doom stuff I particularly liked in it. But let's see what Cosmic Boy does. So he's Legion of Superheroes team ability. Legion of Superheroes, Cosmic and Future. His first trait is Long Live the Legion. Sidestep, he needed that. Once per turn <laughs> for all characters with this trait, when a friendly character with the Legion of Superheroes keyword is damaged by an opposing game effect... Roll a d6, and from the characters of the Legion of Superheroes keyword, modify the listed combat value by the listed amount until the end of your next turn. Once per turn? Okay, sure. So one through three, yeah. it's defense. Four through five, it's attack. And then on a six, they get all their combat values by plus one. So that can be pretty helpful. Wow, you get yeah. damage and stuff. Get your defense up and everything. That's pretty cool. He has a special attack power first two clicks, and then yeah. a damage power first three clicks. Attack is telekinesis. When Cosmic Boy is given a ranged terrain action, modify his attack value plus three. That's just good because he got nine oh, so attacks. He's hurling stuff so he's just throwing you. stuff at yeah. you. He's got 12 yeah, attack. Cool. That's pretty cool. And then damage powers, I'll pin them down for you. When Cosmic Boy attacks, modify a target's defense minus one until your next turn. When Cosmic Boy hits, modify a hit character's defense minus one until your next turn. So it's whenever he attacks, they get minus one defense. And then if he hits them again, they get another minus one defense. That's really he's cool. He's running wild with the so stat mods. He's got all sorts of crazy stat mods. Eight giving them out too. to his team. Oh, wow, yeah, eight range. So he can sidestep, whoa, TK something at somebody. That's pretty fun. Legion is different. Uh, it is now free. Choose team ability that character can already use. So Legion is now wild card. I guess it was always wild card. Oh, it is wild was card? Wasn't Legion? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so it's just another wild card. I have not yeah. seen Legion in, I don't know, in the last, I guess probably Superman and Legion <laughs> of Superheroes. It's been a really long time. It's pretty, time. pretty yeah. old team ability. So, okay, Legion of Superheroes, wild cool. card. So that is Cosmic Boy. Ian, do you want to start with the first booster? Oh. And we'll just, obviously, guys, you're not seeing this. Absolutely not. day three. Absolutely Sorry. not. So we'll start on the opposite end of the super booster. Maybe in a, in a... Worst to best or least exciting to most exciting way. I, I don't know. I think this is you got to end it. You like have to this end has that. to be yeah exactly the so end like, day. So going yeah, just going here. this way. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get into Time Masters. Okay, so right off the bat, I see a Superman. I've got. <laughs> 
Well, uh, I know what we're giving away. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, that is a bronze tail. It is? Oh, man. We've got a uh, uh. Zala, Zala, Zala Jorel, however you guys want to pronounce that one. Uh, Zatanna, which we've seen as well. The common Batman again, which that's awesome. I'm talking to you. And then Detective Chimp as well. So we've actually seen this entire booster outside of uh, the chase. Let's punch her out. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh man. my god. That is really, really cool. Ooh, shoot. Ooh. Don't lose it. <laughs> it's got like a sword. A little sword, yeah. A little Another sword, one sword too. and shields are kind of at Some, her feet. That's pretty oh, cool. Oh, yeah, hey. base. Very fun base. Okay. I like that. By the way, no fun. emblem or anything on the cape. This is like the knight costume. So we'll set her out front cool. there. And let's take a look at what she does because. I'm sure it'll be hmm. pretty crazy. I saw the dual TA of Superman and Wonder Woman there, which is a fantastic mm. start. That makes sense for the story. So she is Amazon, Kryptonian, Cosmic, Past, and Warrior. She comes in at 100 or 50, and she has Hunting the Green Man, so the, the Joker of the story, uh, which is Zala. Or is he? Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> when Zala Jor-El KOs an opposing character with the Assassin or Spy keyword, score 10 additional victory points. Okay, so a little extra points there. And then the back half of that trade is when Zala jor -El attacks, opposing characters can't use Mastermind or Shape Change. Oh, jeez. That seems pretty that solid. That's pretty good. Pretty blank dial, though. It is. It's that. very uh, very simple dial. Just, Just two good, damage powers good stats. for two clicks. Oh, wow, yeah. It doesn't start with them either, so yeah. Just nothing. It's literally just like oh. speed power, defense power. And, and that's kind of it. That's besides it. Besides some exploit thrown in there. The world needs us together, Zala. Unique modifier. Other friendly characters within four squares modify damage plus one. Oh my gosh, that's that's very good. Ugh. When a friendly character with the Amazon keyword deals damage, that damage can't be reduced below one. So that's just when a friendly character uses it. So her damage can't be reduced below one. Ooh, that is true. But the damage modifier okay. is other friendly, so that's everybody but her. Okay. And then she has one more trait, so three traits on this. Our father deserves justice. When Zala jor -El hits, if it was the first attack this turn, after resolutions, place another friendly character that shares a keyword with Zala jor -El adjacent to her. So for 50 points, a 10 hypersonic, run up, hit somebody, place somebody, then they get to hit two. 13 squares out, 10 speed, yeah. half the range, six. This is a... Shoot somebody or punch somebody, and then yeah. boom. A very deceptive dial. Oh. This uh, almost looks like a lower rarity dial. It, like, it, looks, it looks simplistic, but... Yeah. Jeez, giving just plus for 50 points, giving plus one damage to everybody within four. That's wild. No adjacency, no line of fire. Not even sharing a keyword on this one. Not the even damage standard one. characters. Not even standard, friendly. yeah. So it's just other friendly characters, galore. bystanders have it. Oh. Yeah, um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this figure is pretty dang good. Pretty good. And one of you guys watching wow. right now is going to walk You're away gonna with it. You're going to get it. So make sure you comment. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'd wow. say a solid way to start the. <laughs> that break. is really solid. Is this? A, it's crazy cool. Is this a only downhill from here kind of moment? I hope not. It can't be. It can't be. We still have super rares. We still yeah. have the Jurassic League. Come on. Oh, we're starting off with a bang though. That, that is, is an so good. Excellent first pack. Man. But what else do we have in store? Double chase, Brit. I'm just kidding. That <laughs> would be chases? wild. All the chases. Chase we also Colossal? pull a glo a god pack in this brick. A uh, Let's a Jalossal. Bro, oh, a there we go. Ooh, interesting. Okay. okay, so let's check it out. What we have here, I think that's new. We have a super rare, but we have oh, seen him yeah. before. We've already seen Vandal Savage. We've already seen, believe all these guys: Hal Jordan, There's Booster one Gold, guy in there, though. Raptor. Pretty there is cool. one guy in here who we have not seen before, and that is Etragon. Look at this guy go. Etragon's a really funny character. He likes to talk funny. He likes to rhyme. He does. <laughs> he does all sorts of silly stuff. Let's see what he does here. So, Justice League Dark. Shadow Pact, Monster, Mystical, Past, and Warrior. The Fires and Beasts of Hell, Hath Woken. Charge and Flurry, which he gets on two clicks as his special speed power. It's a really interesting dial here. No kidding. With his running shot, he has special attack power we'll get to in a second. That is just a really kind of all over the place, kind of crazy dial. I don't know if it, does it make his face or something? I'm like, it almost feels like yeah, it's trying to make a picture. I don't know why. power combinations there. All, all over the place. Uh, and then his special attack is Whoosh. <laughs> the whoosh. Uh, that reminds me, there's an old action figure show um, called The Foosh. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> Energy Explosion, Precision somehow Strike. Deep reference to that. I know. It's probably somehow a reference to The Foosh Weekly, where they talk about action figure news, obviously. 
Precision Strike, Energy Explosion. When he damages an opposing character, after resolutions, you may generate a fire smoke terrain marker in their square. Shout out, Wheels of Vengeance, fire terrain marker. At the beginning of your next turn, even if this is lost, deal one damage to each character occupying those markers and remove them from the game. Very black card. That's like black card's ability, yeah. right? It makes a fire marker, you take it away, you deal yeah, the damage. Like it. Yeah. Something like that. So cool. That's Etrigan. Should have taken him out of the booster. That's a really, really nice sculpt. He's a rare, he's got mystics. He's kneeling down. He is 037A, which means I think on the we side of the booster. Saw, um, yeah, at a yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is, so, so that'll be more than likely a prime or a B version. Obviously, there's a B version. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be. Yeah, it's just not necessarily a prime per se. Yeah, but it says arise the demon Etrigan. So maybe there will be some kind of switching mechanic between the two. There could be little speed. This one's bubble. real name is it the is... same armor color too? This one's wearing red. Uh, yeah, they're both wearing red. red. Okay. They both like red. They have a bluish sure. cape. It kind of looks like a lighter purple, but yeah, Maybe it looks sure. about right. I do just love a lot of these sculpts. I'm not to pop some of these guys. The out. Velociraptor definitely Etrigan. Is really, really <laughs> it cool. rocks. It's huge. Oh I cannot gosh. wait to run a swarm of those and yeah, painting a couple of those too. You know, get a purple yeah, one, make Barney. <laughs> Barney, <laughs> jeez. Kind of fun. Uh, yeah, Owen Grady, your days are numbered. <laughs> And then, yeah, even the Vandal Savage, like, seeing this sculpt. It is really, person, really, really cool. Crazy detailed, uh, the globe, and then uh, the sword that he has pushed through it as well. And this guy's just got super beefy dial. Obviously, we've already yeah. seen him, but uh, a very exciting one nonetheless. And a super rare that is definitely Ooh. after. Oh, We'll keep down the line. We'll keep going, and we will wrap up day one with this last booster here. We'll see you tomorrow after this Ooh. for even more of what's in store. Figures one plus four in a booster. There's five. Mm. I am mm. entering it down. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got. Okay. We've got the trick arrows, which, yeah, saw these. A lot really of fun. Cool. The boxing glove being, uh, like, the, the tip of it is super fun. Uh, we've got Ginny Hex, who we've seen. Supernova, who is a new one in mm. very 90s. Very, like, 80s, 90s. I like his costume. color palette, though. It's cool. Dead Man, who is a lot of fun. I really like him. And then a rare green arrow, which I don't believe we've seen. Yeah. yeah. So we'll pop those guys out. We'll take a look at them. And then we can kind of review the trick arrows, too, because, yeah, I mean, the fact that we already have a set of them, adding more to them is a lot of fun. Snake They're so cards good. Here. Yep. Okay, well, just looking at the front of Green Arrow's card, it looks like he's got a lot, a lot going on here. And then Supernova as wow. well. And the Trick Arrows. So, <clears throat> start with Supernova. He is Time Stealer's Future Past, coming in at 50 points. History on our terms for a trait. During game setup, increase the result of your 2d6 roll to determine first player by plus one for each character with the Time Stealer's keyword on your fours. Wow, old school theme team. That's Modify a plus cool. one for each character. Yeah. Team. Okay, cool. <laughs> theme team's on my turn. That's right, that's right. <laughs> and then he also has that's a funny. damage special, which is Sabotage History. Probability control. Once per turn, when Supernova uses it, if the new result is higher than the previous result, he may immediately use probability control again. So if your opponent's It's an opposing you, character. Yeah. They keep hitting you. Yeah, you get a prob it twice. And then his first appearance is Booster Gold number one. I'm actually not oh, very familiar with this character. I have no idea this guy. John, John Carter. John Carter, though? The, the John Carter? Yeah. <laughs> Can't trust somebody with two first names. I That's know. what we'll say. <laughs> so Interesting. Yeah, very cool costume. Points, and yeah, stealers. great effect. Huh. That's a lot of fun. That is really... I really like that. Some running shot in cap. Cool. He's not doing a ton offensively, but that prob special in a sealed format could really irritate your opponent. Dude, that's so true. As an uncommon... Higher, oh dude. my gosh. Little uncommon sealed bomb right here. Man, maybe this rocks though. The bow and arrow on this green oh, is arrow cool. is huge. Rocking the long bow here, and let's check him out. Seventy-five or fifty points. Justice League seven soldiers. I love to see that keyword return. Yeah. That's always a fun one. Star City detective. That's an up and coming keyword as a reason. And then marksman as well. So he gets the trick for arrows for free. Makes which sense. And he comes with them. Hundred percent really makes cool. sense. Yeah. So his attack ability is long bow hunter. Precision strike. When Green Arrow is given a range action, he may modify his range plus three. So a nine range, potentially. This guy's <sighs> sniping. If he does, he can't target more than one character during that action. Okay, so like a focus okay. fire shot. Uh, he also has tracking the Robin Hood killer. Range combat expert. When Green Arrow attacks, opposing characters can't use mastermind or shape change. So 
him and uh, Zala are both very anti those powers, I suppose. Ooh. And then he also has improved targeting, elevated, hindering, out of adjacency. Jeez. 12 for wow. 3 on that top click. Great split lines here. Like, at 50, you're getting a running shot, psychic blast prob. Mm. At the top dial, you're getting that ultimate sniper. He's a wild card with JLA, so he's a 13 for 4 from range, right? Yeah. And then with the JLA, he'll be a 14 for 4. Wild card Avenger is 15 for Oh, range. my gosh. That actually be, yeah. <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah, no kidding. This is, a, this is a great representation of Green That's Arrow. That's cool. I really like this. And then, yeah, packing it in with the yeah. trick arrows, which... Just uh, some fun ones, you know. My personal favorite being the uh, the Phantom Zone era where you can send them back to their starting area. Shooting somebody from nine away and be like, and go back. And back. <laughs> Ooh. But the, uh, obviously the... Bad inth, memories of the time platform. Inth Metal, the Batmania. Inth Metal, yeah. Until your next turn, the chosen character can't use team abilities or stop. I mean, that's, really good. that's going to be really, really, really solid for shooting somebody from for four damage from nine away through all that stuff. But yeah, yeah, really, uh, right really on, solid stuff here. I think a great day one, to say the least. I yeah, I think getting the chase <laughs> makes it pretty cemented a great day one. So yeah. that is everything. That is the start of our Masters of Time unboxing. Make sure to come back tomorrow. That's right to see three more boosters opened, and then the day after that, we're opening two more boosters and the super, the booster. super booster. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, we are giving away the chase that we pulled. Mm -hmm. So. Make sure Boom. you are subscribed to Dial H for Hero Clicks. You like this video and you comment on this video to get an entry. <laughs> you can comment on every video this week to gain another entry. So it's up to three entries on our Time Master series. Make sure you comment, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, happy trips.